Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, K's jerking or see everything in the clip like TK Kirkland. Oh, 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 not satisfied until your mama die. Not he say not satisfied until your mama die. My niggas not letting that ship sail like I'm a star. Ain't nobody gonna care after this. At least Obama tried wig split. Shit cave in. You think Osama died? Danny Myers, I say Stanley Myers dead. Yep, I heard that shit on Vada Fly. 40 bring music to your ears. That's the spot to fight. As soon as he said Master P, I was like, ugh, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> what happened to your old slogan? Y'all heard what this motherfucker said? He must have slipped. About to spark these knives, then attack the spit. He just said, Wage World, cool, cause it's party time. Excellent! <laughs> you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. I tell you my mindset. Danny Myers and B motherfucking magic, man. I'm, I'm suggesting you guys. Go watch this battle. Shots fired battle. Go watch Danny Myers versus B Magic. Now, this blog or recap is going to be to give them props, admiration, flowers, and just tell you how much I was thrilled by seeing this. Because, you know, Danny Myers got a lot of battles that he's been involved with. He's battling like every day, you know what I'm saying? But I will, I do respect it more because he has like, you know, he's turned down a battle or two so he could focus on some of the bigger names and shit like that that he's got going on. But I will say this, man, uh, him versus B Magic. Like when when the battle was announced, I was like, Danny Myers 3-0, B Magic's gonna show up. If he even shows up at all, he's gonna be stumbling, flumbling, slipping and blipping through all this shit. I ain't, I ain't rock, I, it is what it is. But I got a lot of respect for B-Magic from his old days. There was a time in like 2014 or 15 where B-Magic was literally one of the best battle rappers in the world. St. Louis Truist, you know how we be doing that dolls. I've got brought something for the beef. I brought something in aluminum for you. You, 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 you him and Conceited, him and Clips, him and Rocks, Precedent, like his flow will always be one of the best, most impactful flows ever in battle rap. B-Magic had a way to cultivate words and make them rhyme like right on top of one of another. Like he just was so good with the flow and he wasn't, the thing about it was when longevity happened, he wasn't as consistent as he needed to be. Charlie Clips went through this. A lot of battle rappers went through this. Different stages of their career where you could see they wasn't as focused as they needed to be. Uh, but in this one right here, you have like some games, it's like the NBA, like you have a game every now and then where it just becomes like classic, like two overtimes, it's wild, and they're going back and forth, you're like, yo, this is dope. Then you have other games where somebody gets blown out, and you're like, man, whatever. So, in this joint right here, Danny Myers, yo, the battle in all is like 16 minutes. I ain't seen, listen, the battle in all is like, it's three rounds in 16 minutes. I couldn't believe this shit. I'm sitting here watching the battle, and I'm like, how did they get three little two minute or however many rounds in 16 minutes and both got through their material? You know what I'm saying? Um, first round, B Magic comes out, he's playing with the flows. You know what I'm saying? I didn't write a bunch. I want you to go watch this. I, I don't want, this is not what, the, the, this is not gonna be a bar for bar breakdown. This is admiration and props and love and appreciation for two MCs who are doing it at the highest level in this one battle. Um, B Magic comes out, he starts reminding niggas with the flow, he's dancing, it, it's magical. I'm like, yo, he really is on some shit. And then he he uses a new, a new, I guess it's a new slogan, I don't know if it's a new slogan, but he's using a new slogan at the end of his joint, you know, after me, he uses the Master P line. And then, in Danny Myers' first round, you know what he do, bar guard, rebuttal. 
I found out he was using that slogan by Master P. I said, uh, na 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 na, and then he starts firing. He's going, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. He's, he's bombing back and forth. They going back and forth with each other in the first round. After the first round, Danny had a slight stumble at the end of his first round, and I gave B Magic the first round. Uh, we'll move on to the to the third round. Both of the third rounds were straight. I loved, well, I ain't gonna just say it because I mean, he did use me in it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the way he used, I, I done heard Mad Butterfly, Spotify, Your Mama Die lines before, but the way B Mad, nobody puts together their punches like B Magic. His name flips is so crazy. He said, Your wig split, you're running your crib, you'll think Osama died. And then he had the next line, then he got killed. I heard that on Vodafly, because you know, if the rap, battle rapper was to get killed, you would definitely hear it on this channel, unfortunately. Um, then he had another line where he said, uh, you know, like Ramadan, and if you cross me, your God will die. Like the God, will, the God, will, yo, it was fucking crazy. His flow in the third was crazy. Overall, I got this battle going 2-1 either way. I'm gonna just leave it there. It is a fan battle to see. I think that when they pop up with like little surprise battles like this, when I first saw it, I was not excited because I knew Danny was where he was at and B Magic was where B Magic was. But in this joint, like it was that one time. Like I said, you get moments every now and then where someone will flash up and they'll just be wilding. And I was just like, yo, B Magic was highly impressive in this battle. Somebody asked me in my um, Twitter comments, do I think Danny Mai, I mean, no I don't, do I think that, uh, do I think that B-Magic is back? I ain't gonna go that far to say like, B-Magic's back. Like, I ain't gonna go that far because I mean, the only problem with the B-Magic is <clears throat> in certain battles where he gets put in like URL competition, like he won't do good. Like him versus real sick no him versus uh i think he battled saga that never came out him versus av like you just think of all of these names real sick all these guys that he's battled he just doesn't perform at a high level versus so he doesn't win but that doesn't take away nothing from what he's done with his career legendarily you know what i'm saying like he's he has done some legendary shit in his years but uh do, for this one right here i ain't gonna lie I was highly impressed with Danny Myers and B-Magic. And this is Danny Myers in between taking battles every couple weeks and battling Lil Slap and Prestavia and he's got bigger battles coming up and hopefully he gets a bigger name. I think that Danny, I really hope that Danny gets a viable name for a big card coming up, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's Noom or whatever the case may be, I hope he gets a name that he wanted, you know what I mean? Cause, uh, Danny has been providing service for so many years, just taking anybody. He's battled all of the up and coming guys, like him, and, like the him and JCs. They'll battle all the up and coming guys, and then they'll get other names, and then they'll continue to battle like the the newer guys, the Kid Chaoses, the Emerson Kennedys, and all these other guys. They'll battle all of them, and then when it's time for them to get theirs on the back end, it kind of be like they get short into the stick, and you're like, yo, but your book X, Y, and Z versus. Super big name, super big name, super big name. Just give uh, Danny Myers his props and admiration too because uh, to take, listen to what I said. They had a three round battle, six rounds in 16 minutes. Yo, I didn't even think it was possible. I was like, yo, there's no way. After B-Magic finished his first round, I'm like, Danny Myers must have a 10 minute round and this is over with. There's no way. Danny got out of his first, B-Magic went into his second. Danny went, I was like, what the fuck? These battles that be coming out now, they be three rounds of battle be 43 minutes long. Crazy. But uh, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or passing. I got the joint being 2-1 either way. Fire battle, you need to watch it. Uh, NBA Finals start tonight. I'm going with the Golden State Warriors in six games. Um, I picked them to win the NBA championship. I know Boston is a good team. Boston, but Golden State has 121 games NBA Finals experience compared to the Celtics zero games of NBA Finals experience. Now that doesn't take away from anything because their coach has been able to coach them and have them believing in themselves. They play raw 
aggressive defense. Uh, they're able to, they got two studs on the wing in Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. If you're here for the battle rap shit, it's over. I'm gonna talk a little sports shit before I get out of here. Um, they got two outstanding wings in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Uh, Al Horford is playing resurge, you know what I mean? Like he's resurging. Uh, you got Grant Williams, you got a lot of different other guys. Marcus Smart can play dope defense, make some threes. But uh, when I look at the core of the Golden State Warriors, which is Draymond, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson, along with Jordan Poole, along with what Kevon Looney has been able to do, along with Gary Payton the second coming back, he should be playing tonight, along with Andre Iguodala playing tonight. They're gonna throw Andre Iguodala on one of those wings. Listen, then they're not gonna, he's not gonna shut them down completely, but they're not gonna drop 50 on him either. That's all you need is an assertive strong, they're gonna throw Gary Payton on one, and they're gonna throw, uh, Andre Iguodala on another one. Then you got Andrew Wiggins. Then you got Draymond. That, that's a lot. I got our Golden State Warriors winning the series in six games. I took a couple bets. I don't really take it like taking a lot of bets. The niggas bet me on, on this shit and niggas don't want to pay and all this other shit. So I don't really take a lot of bets. But I definitely got Golden State winning the series in six games. Uh, it could go seven if Boston splits in Golden State. Nobody could lose the first two games at home. It's very, very, very difficult to win, the, lose the first two games of the NBA championship at home, come back and win the series. Like, I think the odds go up to like 83% if you lose the first two at home. The reason being is because once you lose the first two games at home, it's only five games left and it's really hard to beat somebody four out of five. I've seen it happen before. It has happened before, but it doesn't happen all the time. So I will say that uh, I'm excited. Uh, salute to Danny Myers and salute to B-Magic. You already know what to do and what it does. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP, the ambassador of that notification gang. He would have loved to be here, but you know, he's got to work today and I had to get this stuff out because I'm like, yo, the weekend's coming. Like, we got to get, we, 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 we got to get this shit out. Salute to every single one of y'all. Gang, gang.